picked up the scooter and we're gonna go and check out some of the most iconic sites and then we're gonna show you around our favorite neighborhoods. And fun fact, it's the first time that I'm driving a scooter. And we decided to do this together. Wish us luck. <laughs> That's the magic. Oh, the leaves falling. It's fall, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> the Eiffel Tower is so beautiful. It's so impressive. You don't get tired of seeing it. It doesn't matter how many times we come to Paris. Like We're still going to come here and see it because it's beautiful. And today is like the perfect fall day. The, the air is like crisp and the leaves are like falling. And I just feel very lucky to be here. It's just like sit down and soak it all in. After six months in Europe, I can't think of a better way to end or time here. That was a very stressful time lapse. There's a lot of people walking close to the camera and a lot of kids running around it. So we move on to the next thing. It's faster, but it's a little bit terrifying. There's a lot of people here. Look at this thing, it's enormous. Like the first time I stayed in Paris, we were pretty close to the Arc de Triomphe. So I've seen it like a number of times, but it's like shocking me how big it is and impressive. And like, that's what you forget about Paris, just how like grand and like elegant everything is. It's also a cool thing about coming to cities like a second time, you like see it with new eyes, very beautiful. Paris is very opulence. I think that's a good word for Paris. That is true. I love Paris so much. I want to move here. <laughs> I think you were a better driver than that. I saw that accident <laughs> happening. Those girls had no cares. I give my first scooter experience mixed reviews. It's very nice when the avenues are big and there's no people. That's basically impossible here in Paris. And you have to drive in the street, which is kind of terrifying. So we didn't last long on the scooter. <laughs> An obelisk from Egypt. We saw one in Istanbul. Now we see one in Paris. Next is Egypt. By the way. Neither crepes or this very beautiful and very famous gardens were in our itinerary today, but we saw it, we got hungry, they were there. And we're now leaving Paris with her having one of its famous crepes after all. And next on our itinerary today is one of her favorite neighborhoods. Paris Metro is never not busy. We have been here at several times, several days of the week. It's always packed. And also be aware of pickpockets because they do announce it on the speakers like in five different languages. So I'm like, Gordon's guarding my back. Wrong way. <laughs> Typical. Whenever I'm not following Gordon, <laughs> Oh, 
We're on the way to Marai and crossing through Place de République, and this is one of our favorite spots in all of like Paris. It's not like the most beautiful plaza, but there's always so much going on. There's like three different demonstrations going on. There's like skaters, like board games, like kids playing. It's just like stimulus overload. It's a completely different side to Paris. This is like the local energetic, like bustling Paris, much different than like the touristy kind of like proper Paris. It's very cool to see. Definitely come to this area. Place de la République. Wait, wait. Marai. And Marai. The reason why we love the Marai neighborhood so much is just that there's so much happening here. So there's a lot of like boutiques and cafes and bars and everyone's like hanging out, sitting outside the cafes and smoking and drinking and having coffees, catching up with their friends. It is super cute and today is Sunday and I think this street is like close to bars. So everyone's like walking, there's like artists, there's music. It's very nice here. Whenever we're walking through this neighborhood, we can't help but feel that we're like in some kind of movie or musical. It is so quaint. It is so cute. I can't say that enough. Everyone's out and about having a drink and it's 6 p.m. So our turn. We basically had to drag ourselves out of the apartment. We are so, so tired, but we really didn't want to waste a beautiful day here in Paris. And it is our last day here, our last day in Europe. So we had to go out. And I don't know if you can see behind me, but we are in Sacre Coeur. We're in the Montmartre neighborhood. I'll put it here so you actually know where we are. Um, and this is like, used to be like super bohemian and where like all the famous like artists used to live. So we're gonna like walk around, see what we see, maybe end the day with a picnic to say goodbye. So this is nice. The weather's perfect. It's very busy here, but it is very, very beautiful. You have views of Paris. I really don't remember Montmartre being this packed. This place is madness. If you have any questions about Paris, you can leave them in the comments. And thank you so much for watching. We'll see you on a plane to Miami. Bye. Au revoir.